What is going on, my lovely ladies and gentlemen of the world? As is tradition. Not really, kind of, sort of. I've done it a few times, so I figured, why the fuck not? I wanted to do this anyway, so let's just sit down and do it. I was sitting here, watching Luke Cage. Eh. I'm only like, what actually, what episode am I on? I think I'm on like episode three, four, maybe? I'm on episode four. Um, and so obviously, you know, with the shows that they're making, you know, shit like Daredevil. Well, Daredevil didn't really need an introduction, but like Jessica Jones... I had no idea who that was. I did know who Luke Cage is, because Luke Cage is a badass, but most people probably don't. Um, so, you know, they got to kind of introduce the characters, go over the limitations of their powers before they really start throwing them into the nitty gritty. But I really just haven't been a fan of the Netflix Marvel stuff. Like, the second season of Daredevil, I really didn't like the first season of Daredevil, but I think I can largely put that on the shoulders of Wilson Fisk. Was his name actually Wilson? I don't even fucking know. Kingpin. I didn't like the actor they chose. I didn't like their portrayal. They kind of made him out to be like a moody man-child. More so than this like criminal overlord badass. And it just, I didn't, I wasn't a fan of that. And then plus like the entire point of Kingpin is that he's supposed to be this fucking massive dude. But incredibly strong as well. And like... The actor they picked, no offense to him, but he got some scrawny ass arms. Like, he does not, there's like no muscle whatsoever in his arms. And that was just like, rest in peace, Mr. Michael Clark Duncan. He was like the perfect choice uh, in terms of physicality. Honestly, in terms of everything. Like, he was probably the best part of that atrocious Daredevil movie. But let's move past that. Didn't really enjoy the first season largely because of that. I didn't really, I just didn't really enjoy it. But I did watch the second season. And I enjoyed that more pretty much entirely thanks to Punisher. I really liked our portrayal of Punisher. Jessica Jones, I didn't like even a little bit. It basically felt like somebody's exercise in, like, torture porn or some shit like that. Like, basically just being like, what kind of nasty shit can I think up to make this dude force people to kill themselves with? Oh, it's gonna be so fun. Like, that kind of thing. It basically just felt like that. There wasn't really any substance behind it. It just wasn't an enjoyable thing for me. So I have, and I've heard good things about Luke Cage, but the problem is I heard, like, everybody that I talked to loved the shit out of Daredevil, and I really didn't. Everybody I talked to was like, oh, you know, it's okay, about Jessica Jones, oh, you know, it's okay, it's no Daredevil, but it's still pretty solid, and I hated it. And so now everybody having good things to say about Luke Cage, and it's so far, kind of, yeah, the action's kind of slow, it looks weird, like, there's no, the big thing, so when you have a hero like Luke Cage... I'm supposed to be talking, I, I haven't even gotten to the point of what the tradition will, anyway. When you're getting to a hero like Luke Cage, he's big, he's strong, he's essentially indestructible. You did, if you watched Jessica Jones, you did see a weakness uh, behind his power in that uh, series, throughout, the, well not throughout that series, in that series there was one specific point, but um, still like he's just, he's a big physical presence, and so you want your fight scenes to reflect that and like i'm really big on fight scenes it's one of the biggest reasons why i watch anime to begin with like there's n very few animes that i have watched i'm trying to actually think of some off the top of my head that don't like revolve largely around the combat system in that and i can't really think of one off the top of my head right now full metal alchemist kind of because there wasn't like that was definitely not focused around the action aspect it had it and when it did have it, it was really good, but it wasn't really focused around that. But then you look at, like, the stuff that got me into anime in the first place. Afro Samurai and Samurai Champloo are, my like, my two favorite anime of all time, period. There's no questioning that. They also have amazing soundtracks, but it's the combat. I really enjoy combat, fight choreography, just all that kind of stuff. Not necessarily only fight choreography, like, just action scenes in general. And, um, so when I see bad fight scenes it kind of ruins the entirety of whatever the work is in and of it's like just by itself it just ruins everything else because it's like well fuck it like there's nothing really good about the actual conflict at least the physical aspect of the conflict thus why it's just you know it takes me out of it it gets me moody makes me all sad and shit and that's what i feel like is you know when you have a character like luke cage you want your fight scenes to have impact. You want to feel that strength that this hero that this hero has, and it just doesn't look right because it. I mean, it kind of looks like the actor himself 
is pulling his punches and there's no actual like obviously you don't want somebody to wade in and actually legitimately beat the shit out of somebody but that's the entire point of you know like using stuntmen or training you teach them to make it look real without being real and that's my big problem with it right now is that like it doesn't look real there's no real strength behind it. there's no oomph behind it think of Nova in Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, how everybody says he hits like a grown-ass man. Because every single one of his hits has impact. They shake the screen. Big sound effects. Flashy substance behind it. Hits like a grown-ass man. That's what Luke Cage should be doing. And it's just not happening. And so that's kind of taking me out of it right now. But the good thing is that I really like the actor that's playing uh, the main. I can't actually remember what his first, like, you know, his nickname is Cottonmouth, which he hates. That was actually a really, like, I was very impressed by that dude's voice. The volume of it and, like, the strength of it when he just, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. It was, like, on the second episode or something like that. Somebody calls him Cottonmouth. He wasn't happy about it. He exploded. Like, goddamn, I pissed myself a little. I really like that actor. He's the guy that plays Remy Danton in House of Cards, probably his most famous role. Been in a bunch of other things. Um, but I really like that actor, and so that's kind of carrying it forward for me right now. And I like Luke Cage. Like, Luke Cage's character was pretty much the only thing I did like about Jessica Jones, or at least I liked the potential that he represented in terms of his own possible series, and I'm glad that Marvel took the step. So I'm hoping that it you know gets better as they move past the whole origin story reluctant hero into just full-blown hero that kind of thing is you know you gotta get past that stuff so you can introduce him to the audience and let me actually see how many episodes are there in total there's 13 so hopefully it really gets you know starts stepping up and gets kicked into gear soon nonetheless so i'm sitting here watching luke cage and all of a sudden i hear this sound and i'm like what the f is that thunder like, that's not, that can't be right. It wasn't cloudy at all. You know, it was nice and sunny when I went out to work and I just got home like three hours ago. So for it to change in that time frame was crazy. But then also the fact that like two days ago, it was like high 90s. I don't know if it actually hit 100 because I don't really pay much attention to the weather. But it felt like it could have damn near been 100. I was sweating my ass off walking between classes at uh, school and stuff like that. Like, it was just not a good time. And then for it two days later... I got a fucking thunderstorm? What? So that's the tradition, right? I've done... Usually, I think I actually normally do Nate Talks when this is happening. Because like, I think the last time this happened, I actually got a blackout. And so obviously, I can't be playing any of my gaming systems or anything like that. I can't be... Well, I could use the PC to play offline games. Um, but yeah, like my PC actually has a really good battery. I think this one that I, I have two. I have my regular laptop and then I have a Chromebook. Like the Chromebook... If I could find some audio recording software on that and provided that this microphone actually works with it, that thing has like eight hours of battery life. It's incredible. I love it. My regular laptop hat gets like three and a half to four or something like that. All the time in the world to do all kinds of Nate talks. But anyway, why are we here? After how long did it take me to get through all that shit? Eight and a half minutes? That's not bad. Check this shit out. Look at that bottom right right there. 85% clear, bitches! I think that's actually equivalent to my Asriel. It is! Let me actually see. What are the combos that I have not done with Asriel? Real quick. Just real quick. Alright, I think Mission 20... Is Mission... I can't remember if Mission 20 is the one... Is a damage-based one? Or if it's one where you have to land all of his drive moves. But let me see. What are we looking at here? Oh, I remember this one. This one isn't terribly hard. I just, I spent like two minutes trying to do it, didn't succeed, and I was like, alright, I'm gonna move forward. Because I don't really have all that, I don't know if this is gonna work in Central Fiction, and so because of that, I don't really have all that much interest in like trying to sit down and grind out combos. Like, I'm more interested in actually just relearning Asriel in general. Oh, this one! This one I couldn't get. I got there. I always got to the 3C. And I could never, I don't know if it's just because, you know, I'm off by it. Because um, one of the things I introduced in Chrono Phantasma was a forced proration system where a combo could only go on for a certain length of time before it's automatically possible to tech out of. So even if the frame data would technically allow you to continue that combo, if the combo goes on for too long, you're just not allowed to do it. And so every I've done this combo and I get to the 3C 
and then they just pop out of the 6A no matter how fast I try to do it. So I think it's because I do uh, the Phantom Rush part of it a little bit too slow. Um, but yeah, I've done that combo. It's just, it's only, so let me see what mission 20 is. I just, I can't get, I haven't gotten the 6A to actually work at the very end of it. So it is a damage one. Um, but so yeah, I've actually been working on Hakuman a little bit. So a little bit of backstory. Well, no, you know what? Let's not do backstories. We've been sitting here listening to my ass talk for like 10 minutes now. We can go ahead. I'm just going to hop over to this one. We can look at the other ones in a bit. And uh, like I'll, I'm going to make an attempt. I know a combo that will work that will get me this uh, challenge successfully. I just need to actually perform it. So let me just try to do it real quick before I try to talk about it. Shit, I did it again. So that's one big thing that I have. Um, just actually kind of my biggest executional problem. Pretty much all resolve all revolves around his J2A. And the reason being, number one, if you want to do like max combos with him, you want to jump cancel that J2A and then go into something else. So having to do down normal and then immediately up and jump cancel because there's not a lot of hit stun for that move. So you pretty much have to do it all as fast as you can to make sure it continues comboing. So being able to do that, a little bit of a struggle right now. I, I remember that too because one of Jen's main combo tools, main, main juggle tools, is his J2C, and I had the same struggle with that. Um, it's not a big one, but it's just it's there and it sometimes fucks me up. But the one that fucks me up about that, you're supposed to do uh, J2A into JC, and then you land, and then you land a 5C, and it smacks them back down to the ground. Then you can do another 5C after that, whatever. But my problem is I hold. I hold down for just a little bit too long, and so instead of getting JC, I get J2C, and that does not combo. So that's where, that's a big part of uh, how often I, when I drop this, oops, that's another part. Uh, one of the main ones is, like, when I do that juggle, that dash after the Hotaru, you have to wait for him to be down, oh, that was a good one. Shit, I didn't hold it, ah, oh, fuck, okay, see, so that right there. You see it how it goes down to 11,000 damage and says defeat Asriel. You need to do 12,000 damage to do that. This combo, if you don't... So you have to do two more of these after, obviously, the unblockable one. If you do not charge them at all, you just release them as soon as possible, you get like 11,800 damage or something like that. You're so fucking close, but you're not quite there. And so you have to actually, um, after that 5C, you have to hold this. Oops. You have to hold this for just like millisecond I don't know I don't know the timing yet that's my biggest problem right now is I don't know that timing intrinsically I just I can't do it and just make it work and I gotta learn it too high barely too high I'll try this one more time then we're gonna talk a little bit about Hakuman me shit that was too high again god damn it fuck I hate that so Hakuman. Why am I learning this character? History. Calamity Trigger was like my second ever fighting game that I tried to take seriously. Street Fighter 4 got me into fighting games and I started looking into other fighting games and I saw Calamity Trigger. Looked really interesting so I'm like, hey, I'm having fun with Street Fighter. Let's try this out. One second. Now, I had played other fighting games prior to that, but I had never, um, actually, I had never actually played them, played them. Like, I just kind of button mashed my way around. I didn't learn anything about any characters. I don't really learn many combos or like how to actually play the game. I just button mashed against the CPU and that was it. So I played games like Dead or Alive, Soul Calibur. Uh, I actually have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for the Xbox. Um, you know, stuff like that. So I didn't really actually play, but I had fun with them, but I never delved into them deeply. And the Street Fighter 4 kind of finally sparked that little bit of the competitive. Because I never had online play back then and I didn't have, like, none of my friends ever played fighting games. They were all. If they played games at all, which was unlikely, um, they played like shooters or a lot of them played World of Warcraft, which I never got into myself. And like that was it. They didn't really play much else. And um, so I never had that like competitive desire to play a fighting game because I didn't have high speed internet at the time. I couldn't play online against other people. That changed when Street Fighter 4 came out. Now, now I was playing other people. Now I was having fun and, you know, learning this kind of stuff. But back then, my execution sucked. I, I make a lot of jokes regarding my execution now. But my, I, I would consider my execution to be solid. It's not amazing if I, like, you know, if I wanted to actually be a legitimate professional 
fighting game player. I would want to sit here and grind out my execution for ages. My dashing kind of sucks. So you can see, like, I'm trying to dash a little bit and I'm kind of, I'm failing every so often. Um, I would want to grind that out. Just, you know, ensure my execution is perfect. That I don't make execution mistakes. Because that, out of all the possible mistakes you can make, you know, like mental, whatever, an execution one is, like, the worst you can do. Because that should be something that you can, I mean, you should be able to practice that and grind that out and make sure it never happens. It's going to happen to anybody at some point in time, but it should be a very, very, very rare occasion. Um, back then, like, it was known in my local community when I was going to tournaments for uh, Blaze Blue Continuum Shift, like, I couldn't do DP motions consistently, I couldn't even do the Terra Break cancel consistently, like, my execution was bad then. Think of how it was before I actually started going to tournaments and tried grinding against other people. It was awful. And so, when I'm watching uh, videos of this game, I'm seeing, you know, like these little, oops, my bad, I did the wrong motion. These little special effects that are popping up whenever he does a special move. I'm loving that shit. I'm like, man, that looks awesome. I really want to play this character. Then I see uh, his astral, and I'm like, oh, god damn, that got me all hot and bothered. I'm maining this character. This is going to be my character. And so then I pick him. And I try him out, and I'm like, I can't do a single one of this character's combos. This is this is the hardest character I've ever played in my life. I can't do it. Fuck it. I'm gonna play Bang. And so I played Bang for a while. And um, anyway, I've always wanted to learn Hakuman. I've always wanted to play Hakuman, but it's just, in my opinion, this changed, right? Like I don't think his combos are difficult. I don't think his like neutral game is difficult. But his hit confirms are so incredibly vital to your success with the character that like. You have to be precisely aware of exactly how much meter you are and exactly which options those gives you that gives you per hit confirmed. So it's not just like, all right, I need to know. It adds an extra level of complexity to his combos. It's not just, all right, did I get a counter hit or a fatal counter combo? Did I hit them crouching? Do I have character specific options here? It's not just that. It's do I have any of those plus how many Magatama do I have and what special moves does that allow me to chain together to then either get a juggle, do I need to go for a completely meterless combo here in order to build meters so that my next hit confirmed can be more devastating. There's so much that you have to pay attention to and I've always been terrible about paying attention to meters so that's going to be kind of the deciding factor about how good my Hakuman really is if I do continue to play this character or if I just roll off to somebody else while I continue, you know, building up my Tager and my Asriel. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so I've always been interested in learning the character, but I just, I wasn't really capable of it. So when I tried it again, once Continuum Shift came out, but I hadn't really grown as a fighting game player very much. My execution still sucked. And then I tried Bang, and like, I remembered back in Calamity Trigger, like, my Bang sucked. I didn't have combos. You actually had to, that, like, burning palm fist thing, whatever the fuck that uh, special move is called. You actually, you used to have to tiger knee that if you wanted to combo it correctly off of a grounded normal. Like, you couldn't just do it. They changed that in Calamity, or in Continuum Shift, but I still, like, I just, I wasn't doing his shuriken combos, I wasn't doing his double jump or air dash combos or micro dash combos, all that shit. I sucked with him, so I was like, okay, if I'm going to try it and actually take this seriously, I need to pick a I need to pick a character that I can actually succeed with. Enter Tager. Mad easy executionally. All of his difficulties come in just specific matchups where they just blow you the fuck up in neutral and there's really nothing you can do about it um but from an executional standpoint this dude's mad easy so that's wh why i picked tager and i've just kind of ignored hawkman ever since then but now i was about to say my execution's a lot better but let's just let's just not say that now that that happened let's just ignore that shit i did it again Why did I just do Subaki? God damn it, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. The funny thing is, too. Does this even gonna work in this range? Should. That thing's got a ridiculous hitbox. Really? 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 Alright, one more try, then I'm gonna go to the other trial so I can show them off. I haven't really. It's not that I haven't done them because, like, they're too hard. I just, I saw them and I was like, you know, I'll come back to those later. I mean, not to say that they aren't too hard. Obviously, they have a challenge to them, but like, I think, I haven't done 17 and 19, but I've done 18. Really? 
Ooh, oh, I know what it is. I'm not getting to back. I'm not. I'm going to back down back instead. I'm not getting to four. I'm stopping at one. Fuck! I forgot the. Oh, it doesn't even matter. I didn't even get it. I tried to try. Like I like I said, I don't know that charge time, and so I know because it's either ten thousand four hundred damage is how much you get if you don't charge it, and so I know I need to get a little bit more, like 300 or 400 more than that. Why did I just come all the way back here? But see, I did trial 18. This one is... Actually, I didn't even try this one, now that I remember it. I just looked at it. I think I can... I don't think it's that hard. Uh, I looked at it again, but I just didn't try because I want to clear trial number 20 while I can still remember the combo off the top of my head. But this one has, like, a Hotaru into a dash cancel into an overdrive cancel. Oh, that's right, and you have to start with the counter. I just saw that part, and I was immediately like, Nah, you know, I'll just, I'll just chill. <laughs> but that, like, that's not actually that hard. Um, let me just, I'll try it once. Oh, you have to, oh, okay, okay, I see, I see. What am I doing? Is that actually, I'm not actually sure, is that jump canceled? Oops. No, it's not. Okay, so I have to do... I'm not sure if I actually have to tie your knee. I just want... I want to at least get the... Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I want to at least get to the Hotaru. Firefly? What a dumb... I'm... I'm... I'm oh, God damn it. I will only call that Hotaru. Why do I keep doing this? If you do have to tie your knee... Oh, you definitely have to tiger knee that shit. God damn. What am I doing? <laughs> I started to try to do a quarter circle forward. This is where the, uh, one more try. Because I can't even, I'm not even thinking about, like, actually doing the cancel properly. Let me watch this again. Does he do? Oh, I get it. So, okay. Let me actually, let me bail off of this real quick. I, I understand it now. So, one of the things that I wanted to mention, so like, you know, the difference in my execution the last time I really tried to play this character and now, his forward dash actually counts as being airborne for a certain amount of frames. I don't know when it actually starts. So you can actually do his airborne specials like halfway through his dash. So for instance, okay, well, if I can actually get a dash, that would help. That is what the, that is what it was doing. That's actually kind of strong. I've never, like, I've never actually seen anybody using that as a, um, what am I trying to say? I've never seen anybody try to use that as, like, a pressure tool. I wonder how good it, well, actually, now that I think about it, I th doesn't that whiff? I think that actually whiffs on crouchers. It's something you would want to test. But so, like, uh, I believe it was actually, was it in Chrono Phantasma that this, at least 1.0, 1. Uh, 1. This move used to cause a ground skid, right? And so I think that actually was one of his trials where you had to start with that. Like, you actually, it forced you to start with a forward dash into this. Because obviously, I mean, I believe this is an overhead? If I remember correctly. And so, like, that's a mad fast overhead, right? And getting the ground skid off into, like, you know, you can juggle off of that and do his entire jump chains, all that shit from that really really good uh combo starter but they got rid of the ground skid on it so you can't do that anymore um but yeah so like i used to think that like this shit right here hello motorcycle why can i not dash jesus i used to think this was fucking impossible oh i see it's because i keep trying to do it in the recovery of the other move and so it's just eating it but yeah i used to think this was just impossible and now it's like now i have more trouble now i have more trouble getting the actual dash out than i do doing the motion it's fucking pathetic like i need to work on that it's so interesting especially in anime games being able to dash around properly instant air dash all that shit it's so fucking vital and i've never even bothered to learn how to do it it's absolutely pathetic oh oops i tried to do the dp motion way too fast can you actually turn on i'll check this out after this i'm not actually oops, what am i doing camp that's a bummer i was hoping you might be able to turn on uh 
inputs like in training mode so you can actually see like what I'm doing. Why did that not come out? That's interesting. Oh, I never even showed off trial 19. My bad. I'll do that. Let's give this two more tries. What the fuck? How am I fucking that up now? I'm just trying to do it too fast. I'm getting impatient. I can't, every single time I fuck up a half circle back forward or like a half circle forward back. Are there even any? I don't think I've ever run across a half circle back or a half circle forward back motion. I mean, technically, that's what doing this on the other side would be, really. Too high? Too high. One more try. Even though I said two more like four tries ago. Right, too low. I keep it's it's because I'm trying to do it too fast, and so I notice it. It's because I keep I don't go all the way to the back motion. God damn it. Gotta fix that. Because it uh, actually affects me in King of Fighters as well, so let me just show this one off. Because I'm not even gonna try it. Three supers in a row. It pretty much requires knowing that precise time. I mean, I guess it's kind of right when that slash happens, you enter Mugen. But yeah, you, just, you do hit like three of his supers, and then you basically go through every single one of his special moves. But I love, just so I can watch that again. That airborne chain of those three airborne special moves is like my favorite thing I've seen from Hawkeye. I love it. Like that, just that chain right there, just fucking juggling somebody up and down over and over. Oh my god, I enjoy. I really like this combo because this is actually, like I mentioned, it's basically the same thing as what Trial 18 is. It's just you add in supers in there. And so I'm not even gonna do it. I'm just gonna let this rock. And so then instead of that, like instead of doing standing C, standing C into that little pommel jab thing, you just do standing C into super, you cancel that super into his command dash, and then you do another one of those, and you do another C, and then you cancel into super from there. But, and like I said, like when you, if you just do that by itself, you get um, like 11,000, you get a high 11,000 damage. So you have to charge it in between. Well, yeah, I just don't know that timing. I don't know how tight it is, but it seems. That one felt good. I'm not sure why I didn't get that one out. God damn it, I keep trying to do it too early. Yeah, I keep trying to cancel out of the command dash too early and it just eats my input. It's way too high. What the fuck? Jesus. One more try! Why am I fucking like that feels so good? But it's just not coming out. Am I trying to do it too late? Like, is that oh maybe that's it. Maybe I'm not doing the command fast enough. Oh, that is way too low. I'm not gonna get that second 5C yet. One more try, and then I'm done with this combo. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be able to bust this out at any point in time. Fucking god damn it, that was so close. Alright. Oh, it's been 30 minutes basically anyway, so why not? We're just going to leave it at that. Leave it at pure disappointment. Let's try to just do somebody randoms. We're going to do somebody ran. Oh, why did you do this to me? This game, oh, let me actually pick it. Let me pick the color. Let me pick a color. 
This game has a very cruel sense of irony, doesn't it? To give me Carl after my former experience mastering this character. I'm just gonna let that hang while I drink some water. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, we can do this! Nailed it. I am the best Carl in the universe. Recognize, bitch heads. Oh, now we gotta go crouching to standing? I don't know! Why do they not just take one damage off of that for ultimate meme power? Wait, isn't that... Oh, okay. I thought, I, for some reason, I thought that would involve the doll. How am I supposed to do? God damn it. Like, I'm already getting foiled. It's the same exact shit. So this is the ultimate form of the irony that this game is throwing at me. This is the same exact thing that was causing me to struggle with Daimon in King of Fighters 3. Like, literally the same exact motion. Down forward button, into half circle, back forward button. The same exact thing that was making me struggle in King of Fighters 14. With that character, specifically. Like, that's just cruel, man. So do I just... I don't understand. What am I supposed to be doing here with her? Oh, and that would have had to hit too, so I would never have actually done that. Isn't that command yet? Oh, oops, my bad. Why are you doing that? I don't want a demonstration. What the fuck, bitch? I did that! <sighs> oh, okay, you have to do it earlier than that. What the hell? A douche. What a douche. I'll never play this character again. Literally never again. Oh, on release, right. 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 That's the biggest adjustment it takes, is remembering, like, you're not really entering a command, you're holding down the D button, and then you're, uh, doing shit. And you gotta, like, um, should I just fucking... Would help if I actually did the motion for her? so strange to do while holding down the D button. Can I just consider this an abject failure and move on with my life? I kind of want to do that. Oops, my bad. Wrong direction. Wrong direction! Didn't do the entire motion. I did one quarter circle back. There we go. See, I'm getting, I'm getting there. I'm getting, I'm basically, I'm basically a master of Carl at this point. I can go in evil right now because Carl's so fucking stupidly good. Is that the one that I actually want? Can I just, I'll try this one and then I'm just done. Like, this is just going to be painful to watch the entire way through. It's fucking silly of me to even try to continue this. What am I doing? 
God damn it, stand in C first, stupid. Why do I why do I keep jumping? Why do I keep jumping? I got no answers. I just said that would be the last one when I'm stubborn. Oh, this one's mad easy. He says while fucking up a simple button press. I wasn't expecting a button and then a jump cancel. I was expecting a button, a button, a jump cancel, button, button. <laughs> Okay, I need to do it way lower than that. Oops, my bad. Down C. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oops, I forgot I didn't do the jumping B. That would help. No? Why though? Do I not get? I'm not really. Oh, am I trying to? Maybe I'm trying. Okay, wait. Hang on. No. Okay, I have to wait for a tiny second after that. God damn it! There we go. Easy. It's always the waiting. I just expect to be able to do it as fast as possible, but it's always the waiting that gets me. Same thing actually happened, happened with uh, Hawkman. Okay, you know what? I'm not even... You know what? Yes, I can do this. Wait, what am I trying to do? Fuck it, I can't do it. It's too hard. It's too hard! I'm out! I'm out! Save me! Save me!